Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 21. That is, what is sanity testing? Let me answer. Before I explain what exactly is the sanity testing, you need to understand that sanity testing is only performed on the stable application builds and it is not performed on the unstable application builds. And when does we perform sanity testing? We perform sanity testing when there are minor code changes or bug fixes introduced in some functionalities of the stable application builds. Then only we perform sanity testing. And as part of sanity testing, we'll not test the entire application functionality. We'll only test the functionality where minor code changes or bug fixes happened. And that too, we test that particular affected functionalities because of this minor code changes or bug fixes in depth we'll test case, okay? Not simply we'll test, we'll test in depth that kind of functionalities where minor code changes or bug fixes got introduced. For example, let's say there are some minor code changes then in the login functionality for your application. Then we are not going to test the entire application. We are only going to focus on the login functionality and that too we'll test the login functionality in depth as part of the sanity testing, okay? So hence guys, okay? Hence sanity testing is also known as or also a subset of a regression testing guys here. It's not a full regression testing. It is a subset of the regression testing because we are only going to focus on the functionalities where the minor code changes are bug fixes happened in the stable application. Okay, so that's why it's not a full regression testing. We call that as a subset of regression testing. And what happens if the sanity testing fails? That means sanity testing fails means what? These minor code changes or bug fixes are not properly working in that particular functionalities, right? Where we have tested in depth. So in that case, we simply reject the build guys, okay? We simply reject the build to the developers and we'll wait for the next build instead of proceeding with the detailed testing we simply reject the build and wait for the next build where we will be expecting this code changes or bug fixes happen better or in a proper way in the functionalities okay so this is what is sanity testing guys okay this is what is sanity testing and how it will be performed and where it will be performed i covered everything in detail in this session as part of answering this question and that's all for this session guys in the next session i'm going to answer one more software testing interview question till then see you bye